A cryptographic hash function is considered practically impossible to invert. These one-way hash functions have been called the workhorses of modern cryptography. The input data is often called the message and the hash value is often called the message digest or simply the digest. For this demo, we are going to use a fantastic tool called Hashcat to crack hashes on Kali Linux. Let's see how to use it. The first step is to generate a hash digest from clear text. This website, miraclesalad.com slash web tools, will do the job for me. So let's try something easy, like one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's copy it and move to the next step. Open a new console window and let's create a file where we are going to store our hashes. Paste the hash and save. So how do we know what is the type of our hash? Kali already includes a tool called hash identifier for this purpose. Oops, I made a typo here. Next, you will be asked to enter the hash value. We can confirm from the list that MD5 is a strong candidate, which is true, right? The website that we used generates MD5 hash values. Now let's close this and open a new window. It's the time to start Hashcat. The minus M argument is for the attack mode. The number zero here means it's a straight attack. You can use one for combination, two for toggle, and three for brute force, followed by the minus A argument. The value zero is for MD5 hash type. Next, comes our hashes file pass and finally our dictionary file pass. I will press enter to start cracking. Check this out. Hashes are shown with plain text values given next to them. Before I finish this thing, I want to mention an important point. Hashcat has also some other versions that support GPU rather than your CPU to crack passwords. Graphic cards are much faster as an attack tool than a CPU, many, many times faster. I already have a demo of how to use the GPU in the Wi-Fi pentest module. I invite you to go back and check it out.